Peterbald Cat vs. Siamese Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The story of the Peterbald dates back to 1993 when the Donskoy was bred with the Oriental Shorthair. A new hairless cat emerged, and it was named the Peterbald due to its popularity in the city of St. Petersburg. Over the years, certain Peterbald cats have been born with a very short coat, so the breed isn't technically always hairless. The Peterbald was officially accepted for championship competition by the International Cat Association TSEA, in 2005. These days, you may find Peterbalds in shelters or in the care of rescue groups. So make sure to consider adoption if you decide that this is the breed for you. The sophisticated Siamese looks dressed for an elegant masquerade ball in pale evening wear with chic black accessories and tanzanite blue eyes. Cats with light-colored coats set off with black masks, ears, paws, and tails have been known in Thailand, formerly Siam, for centuries. The Siamese itself is a natural breed, meaning its original pointed pattern was the result of a genetic mutation. At first, only the cats with seal points, a dark brownish black, were shown, but blue, chocolate, and lilac point Siamese were soon developed and accepted in the show ring. Today Siamese come in many different point colors and patterns, including tabby points and smoke points. The Siamese is recognized by all cat associations. The International Cat Association also recognizes the Thai, described as the original form of the native pointed cat of Thailand. First up, you'll instantly notice just how much this breed loves humans. Peterbalds very quickly form super strong bonds with the humans in their lives and will often follow them around from room to room, much in the fashion of a dog. This loyal streak means that the Peterbald also makes a great cat for households with young children. But make sure that you can spend enough time with your Peterbald on a day-to-day -day basis, as this breed doesn't enjoy being left alone for long periods of the day. While the Peterbald is often hailed as a very affectionate and loving feline, these cats also have a strong athletic streak and will very much enjoy extended play sessions. In many cases, the Peterbald is also said to be a very vocal cat so be prepared to engage in cat talk conversations with the breed. Perhaps the most important thing to know about Siamese cats is they are talkative and opinionated. They will tell you exactly what they think, in a loud, raspy voice, and they expect you to pay attention and act on their advice. Siamese cats are extremely fond of their people. They like to be helpful and will follow you around and supervise your every move. When you are sitting down, a Siamese will be in your lap, and at night he will be in bed with you, probably under the covers with his head on the pillow. Do not get a Siamese if living with a chatty busybody would drive you insane. On the other hand, if you enjoy having someone to talk to throughout the day, the Siamese can be your best friend. Just be sure you have time to spend with this demanding and social cat. Siamese does not like being left alone for long periods, and if you work during the day it can be smart to get two of them so they can keep each other company. The Siamese is highly intelligent, agile, athletic, and loves to play. Keep his busy brain active with puzzle toys and his body exercise with teaser toys he can chase and a big cat tree he can climb. Never leave him without any form of entertainment, or you will likely come home to find that he has reprogrammed your DVR to record only nature shows or at the very least decided your toilet paper rolls and tissue boxes look better empty. Choose a Siamese cat if you look forward to spending time with and interacting with your cat. This is a loyal and loving feline who will pout and pine if given little or no attention. In the right home, however, he thrives for years. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. As with all cats, it's important to keep up your Peterbald's regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. Beyond scheduling yearly wellness visits with your vet, make sure that you pick up a scratching post for your Peterbald cat's living environment. This can help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. Finally, because the Peterbald is a cat with a decent amount of energy, it's recommended that you add at least one cat tree to your home environment. The short, fine coat of the Siamese is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. It's a good idea to keep a Siamese as an indoor-only cat to protect him from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Siamese who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Peterbald is usually hairless, although sometimes the breed will possess a very short and almost fuzzy layer of coat. The Peterbald comes in a wide range of colors. 
When it comes to grooming, a totally hairless Peterbald will require bathing at least once a week. This is to get rid of any oils that accumulate on the skin. Also, consult with your vet about using feline-friendly sunscreen, especially if the cat has access to the outdoors. In terms of climate, most Peterbald cats prefer warmer weather rather than cold environments. It's best to keep the breed indoors so that it can find warm and cozy spots to lounge around in. What the Siamese looks like depends on the breed standard of each particular organization. Most cat associations call for the Siamese to have a svelte but muscular body with long lines. The wedge-shaped head is long and tapering from the narrow point of the nose outward to the tips of the ears, forming a triangle. The unusually large ears are wide at the base, pointed at the tip, giving them the same triangular shape as the head. Medium-sized almond-shaped eyes are always a deep vivid blue. The body is often described as tubular and is supported by long, slim legs, with the hind legs higher than the front legs. The Siamese walks on small, dainty, oval paws and swishes a long, thin tail that tapers to a fine point. The short coat of the Siamese has a fine texture. In the Cat Fanciers Association, it comes in four colors, seal point, a pale fawn to the cream body with deep seal brown points and deep brown nose leather and paw pads, chocolate point, an ivory body with milk chocolate colored points and cinnamon pink nose leather and paw pads, blue point, a bluish white body with deep blue points and slate colored nose leather and paw pads, and lilac point, a glacial white body with frosty pinky gray points and lavender pink nose leather and paw pads. The International Cat Association allows for a range of colors beyond the four point colors recognized by CFA. They include tabby points, red points, cream points, silver tabby points, smoke points and particolor points. The Peterbald is a great fit for families with young children. Just make sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides. Supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the friendly and outgoing Peterbald usually fares well with most other domestic animals. But always make sure to supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets, too. Sometimes these relationships are very much dependent on the individual pet's personalities. The active and social Siamese is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward them for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.